Okay, so Tichining Yokoto 2 practice strategies for the A section. Uh, I think the first two lines are pretty. What do you do pretty well with those? The shan and the korodins. The korodins are pretty good. I just want to watch with the one, two, three. Make sure that you lift up. Measure uh, line three, five, ten. Right, we're focusing on lines three and four to say so. Five, ten. Just practice that a couple times. Drop down into the five, ten like this. Then practice the one, five. Practice that a couple times. The one, five. This is a good way to practice. Now put them together. Two measures. Five, ten, five, one, ten. The next thing is almost the same thing. It's the same down up feeling. So just try eight, thirteen. Do it the same tempo as you did the five, ten first, slowly. But practice dropping down and then playing and then lifting up with your thumb. Lift up here, down, solid. Very solid with your middle finger. And then try it a little bit faster. Another thing is you can just do middle finger alone. So while you're doing the eight, seven, eight, seven, get your left hand out here ready to play the one, because that's what happens at the top of line four, and you want to be ready for that, okay? And you've been playing eight like this. So practice going from the bottom of line three to the top of line four, okay? Now remember, when you play the shan on eight, 11, your fourth finger is going to go on the nine, okay? I want this next section, I want you to practice the right hand only, uh, you can practice the, I mean the left hand is easy, just one, two, three, four. If you look at it, it's just one, two, three, just repeated left hand, right, on the one. The tricky part is moving with your right hand. Look at that carefully. We play one, eight, 13, you go down to the five and 10. When you go down to the five and 10, what do you do? Fourth finger goes on the six, and that's your guide. Okay? And you play two five tens. Then you go back to the eight and thirteen. Don't get confused. Put your fourth finger on the nine again, because it's one string above the eight. So it goes like this: it's one and two. You might practice going from the bottom of line three. One, two, three, four. Get left hand ready. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now you gotta press the 12 as hard as you can. Press as hard as you can. We're gonna think of this in groups of four. The first group of four, if you look at it, is one, two, three, four. Practice it a couple times. One, two, three, four, again. One, two, three, four, one more time. 13, 12, eight, 13. Look at the second group of four. It's 12, eight, 13, 12. The first group starts on 13, ends on 13. The second group starts on 12 and ends on 12. So it's 12, eight, 13, 12. First group, 13, Second group, 12, 8, 13, 12. The third group is just like the first group, 13s. The fourth beat is let go, okay? So it sounds like this. It's 13 group, 12 group, 13 group, 12 release. And then we do exactly the same thing with 10, 9. So start with the 10, 9, 5, 10, group 1.
next group is going to start on nine and end on nine on the press. Nine, five, ten, nine. The third group is just like the first group with ten, nine, five, ten. Then we do a nine release. This ha means hanasu, let go of the string. So it sounds like this. One, first group, second group, third group, play, release. Then 10, nine, press the nine as hard as you can. Nine group, 10 group, nine, and then release. So think of groups from the 13, starting and ending a 13, starting and ending on the 12, and then starting and ending on the 10, starting and on the 9. Those are the different groups in that section. Good luck!